Hi guys, my name is Anuj Jindal and today we are going to talk about housing for all. So what is the first thing that you should be thinking when you're talking about housing for all? I'm not saying about what you do think about. I'm saying what you should be thinking when you're talking about housing for all. So when you go out for the next time, uh, just look carefully when you're driving or when you're traveling on the road and see all the people who are there on the pavements. Those are the people who actually need housing. So whenever you are thinking about housing for all, writing housing for all, writing about housing for all, whether it's for UPSC or whether it's an essay for RBI, think about those people. Automatically, all those things that you're required to write and all those things that you're required to know will come. So this is how I have uh, summarized the entire housing for all as per Niti Aayog's report, okay? What we are going to do is we are going to look at all these parameters one by one and simultaneously I will also take you to the PPD, to the PDF that we have created for housing for all that will help you understand it better. Okay, so we'll be juggling through both these things. So first thing that you have to do is think about, just close your eyes and think about those people on the pavements who don't have any house. What do they need and why do they need houses for themselves? Okay, so what exactly is housing for all? That's what we need to understand first before answering the question of why or how do we create houses for every everybody in the country what exactly is housing for all when do we say that you have we have created houses for everybody it's not just about creating a house it's about providing a lot of facilities so number one is pakka houses you don't have to provide kacha houses the uh, objective is also simultaneously to provide or to convert those kacha houses into pakka houses. So this becomes your first point. The second parameter when you say that we have housing for all is electricity and toilet. The third one is toilet which includes water as well. So electricity, toilet, water becomes the third, second and third point and pakka house is the first point. And you have to provide electricity, water and toilet uh, as on 24-7 basis. So this is when you can say that, okay, now we have provided houses for all. And the second parameter is, what is the shortfall? Because if you want to improve or if you want to work upon houses for everybody, you need to ensure uh, or you need to understand what are the problems that you're facing. So 1.2 crore houses are required to be made in urban areas, that is the target. And for rural, the target is 2.95 crore. Now the interesting thing here is, and a little confusing, I don't know why the government did it. The shortfall as per the government in urban areas is 1.2 CR. But in rural areas, the shortfall is 3 CR. So I don't know why the government has reduced the target by 5 lakh. But in any case, this is uh, where a question lies. This is where a question lies. The shortfall is 1.2 and 3 CR, whereas the target with respect to urban and rural areas is 1.2 CR and 2.95 CR. Don't worry, worry about this entire summary that we have created on the board. Everything is going to be available. I have taken a picture of this entire thing and the same will be available in the description. Okay. So this is the what part. Why exactly, what exactly is the situation when we can say that, okay, now our country has uh, provided housing for all. And the second question which, which pops up in your mind is how exactly to do it. So what are the things that are required to be done in order to say that, okay, these are the things that we need to do in order to ensure that everybody in reality has housing for all. Okay. So the first thing that you need to do is work upon these schemes, create schemes and then work upon these schemes. Now the schemes part is static in nature because the reason is that in everything that we are going to read, the government works through schemes only. So whatever problems, whatever social welfare uh, initiatives the government wants to take, they all work through schemes. Okay. So the first objective or the first target or the first effort or initiative is going to be to create schemes and then to work through those schemes. What are the major schemes which are involved in housing for all? Number one, there is Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana Urban and number two, there is Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana Grameen. Now there are certain specific uh, targets for both of them and objectives for both of them which are uh, uh, more clearly available in the government scheme section that I'm going to discuss, okay, in the future. But to summarize the basic objectives, basic targets for Grameen, which was launched in the year 2016 and lies under uh, the Ministry of uh, Housing, uh, 
it has now been converged with Swachh Bharat Mission and MG Narega. Okay, why? Why have we converged that? We have converged these two for this particular reason: electricity and toilet, which lies under Swachh Bharat Mission. Toilet lies under Swachh Bharat Mission, and by the target of creating a pakka house that can also be taken under MG Narega. Now, dear, now that we are done with. uh you know digging holes i think the uh, the uh, the government needs to move towards creating or ensuring that all that labor is working towards creating better things like pakka houses and therefore this has been merged with swachh bharat swachh bharat mission sbm and mg narega okay so this is something that you need to remember the gramin part not the urban part What is the unit assistance? One lakh twenty thousand in plain areas and one lakh thirty thousand in hilly areas or in border areas. Okay. Uh, in twenty sixteen seventeen, thirty two lakh houses were constructed. Not important. And uh, by the end of March, whatever houses we have constructed, that is also not important. What is the unit assistance? One point two and one point three. Under which ministry does it lie? It has now been converged with Swachh Bharat Mission and MG Narega. Okay. When it comes to urban, then similarly we have certain targets. Target of 1.2 crore, as I said, which is mentioned here. Uh, 44 lakh houses have been sanctioned and 4 lakh houses have been completed. Not important for us. Not going to be asked in the exam. Very less chances. Okay. So these are all the schemes part. Okay. What exactly or how exactly do we? create housing for all number 1 we create schemes and then we uh, work upon those schemes number 2 is finance which is very important this is where niti ayog has provided something interesting that you can write if there is an essay on this or if you are preparing for upsc or even then this is very important and very interesting for you so finance how what exactly do we mean by finance it does not mean merely allocation of finance under these schemes that is one part of it but that is not all the niti ayog says that you need to create a sub category category under priority sector lending which ensures that you are providing some money to housing for all and third is a national housing fund under national uh, nhb needs to be created which will also provide funds to banks which will in turn use these funds in order to finance housing for all so if a person comes wants a uh, loan to create a small house for himself then a housing fund has been created and hp will allocate certain money to the banks and banks will provide that money to that particular person on a very low interest rate okay so that is the finance part only these two things are important there are of course certain other things uh, other than uh, uh, th these two Uh, the budget has announced increased allocations so allocations in prime uh, pradhan mantri awas yojana urban and gramin have also been increased but that has already been covered in the budget part not important for this entire summary sheet okay and the next is technology so how exactly will technology ensure that we have housing for all global challenge and mission so what uh, niti ayog is saying is that a uh, global housing technology challenge has been already and already launched and needs to be launched or needs to be carried out on a regular basis so that new technologies can come in in order to create better houses in a shorter period of time and which are cheaper also and the second is mission it says this is very important this is something that you can mention if you are writing an essay and you also need to remember it there might be a question on this also a national mission for slum rehabilitation needs to be created which will bring greater focus on making the country slum free okay so the mission is also important then next is cost part cost part mein you need to remember this acronym which is rco what does it mean it means rental come ownership housing what this means is that the banks while they are providing funds or if a person is renting a house Uh, let's say houses uh, low cost houses have been created and people are have started renting those houses now what can happen is uh, let's say the person is providing 10000 as rent for that low cost house for that small house okay now that rent should also be taken as uh, his annuity or his monthly installment if he were to own that house 
and when he has paid the entire rent which can convert his uh, house into an ownership then the same should happen so the rental agreement and the ownership agreement needs to be combined together so that he can have the flexibility of renting a house and at the same time if he continues to own a house to rent a house for let's say 10 years then he can actually own that house so a rental come ownership housing model needs to be created in order to reduce the cost for the owner okay so that was the uh, costing part and last we have efficient land use it says the niti ayog says that we need to move towards a vertical housing from horizontal housing this is the main uh, recommendation or the way forward that we need to move towards vertical housing in order to ensure that we are utilizing the land more efficiently uh, at the same time we have less pressure on land because we have a huge population we need land not only for housing we need land for a lot of purposes whether it's agriculture whether it's creating roads whether it's creating all other kinds of commercial infrastructure there are a lot of things that we need to do so vertical housing needs to be uh, encouraged in the country through better technology so all these are interrelated also and these are the parts that the government needs to work upon as per niti ayog so if a question comes whether it's objective or subjective which asks about what should be done in order to ensure that housing for all is implemented by 2022 then the how part needs to be mentioned or if the question comes what exactly is the meaning of national housing uh, sorry what is the meaning of uh, housing for all then this needs to be mentioned or if there is a uh, let's say objective question on the targets then these are the targets objective question on what exactly is uh, you know housing for all then these are mentioned here because there are long statements which can also be uh, created around these targets around the high how part and the what part so this was all about uh, housing for all as per niti ayog video if you if you want to uh, use the pdf you can do that it's available in the description section and the pdf has already been provided for the entire drivers part this was one of the drivers housing for all in the next video i will be moving towards other drivers as well okay if you like this video uh, please subscribe to the channel also don't forget to press the bell icon because it's very very important if you like the way that i'm teaching the innovations or the changes that i'm bringing about and uh, the picture for the entire summary that has been created on this one board which will be repeated in all the further videos of niti ayog if you want to use that you can use the description again uh, all these links are available in the description section below okay all the very best take care